We're from Acton, Massachusetts. We're at the high school, Acton Boxborough Regional High School, and this is our device, the decombustor, which is a firefighting grenade. This is the first prototype. Essentially, it's a canister filled with a gas, which will be released into the room to suppress the fire. It's powered by a spring right here, which will drive this chain drive. So you can pull the pin, and it'll turn. It'll open a globe valve right here, which will release the gas through this nozzle into the room. Now, unfortunately, there's no timing device on it right now, so as soon as you pull the pin, it will release the gas. What we're working on for the next step is working in a timing device and making the device smaller such that it could be thrown into a room. Well, we started last year and um, we all got together and thought of different possibilities. And one, Steve Hart, came up with the idea of a reusable firefighting device and we decided that we'd go with that idea. And we saw that it would really help not just our community or not just one specific need, but it's very universal, so it can be applied everywhere. So school mentors have been a great help. Whenever we have questions contacting the machinery or contacting local fire departments and companies, if um, the people just ignore us or don't take us seriously, we will um, get help from our Cisco mentors, so they will provide us with um, helpful search words and communication skills that will help us to um, communicate better with other companies and organizations. For the next steps, we're working on making the device lighter and more compact, that way it could be thrown into a room. What we're looking at doing is making it sort of a teardrop shape with the same idea of pulling the pin out to release it. However, when you pull the pin out, there will be a timing device such that there's a delay in between the time of when you pull the pin and the gas is released so that a person could throw it into the room because it will be lighter and smaller and more durable. And the teardrop shape would ensure that it would, when it landed in the room, it would sit upright so that the gas could be evenly displaced throughout the room.